Welcome to the video on how to make a video. Uh, we're going to be using SM Recorder, which is a video screen capture software, which has also the option to capture audio so that you could speak to your students if you choose. Before we get started, and the catch here for uh, using video capture software to show how to capture video is that you're using the software and you can't use the program to show the program. If that makes any sense. Think about that for a second. So I've taken some pictures, uh, screenshots that will walk through the process. Before we begin though, I would like to uh, introduce you perhaps to a website called CNET.com. And this is perhaps the uh, best techie nerd geek website that exists on the planet. In my opinion it is. We're going to download. This is a Windows software. I'm not a Mac user. You since you have a Mac, if you are a Mac person, you probably have some fantastic thing on your computer already since Macs are supposedly so fantastic. So I'm typing in the Find Software box here. I'm typing in SM Recorder. I'm hitting Search. It's going to bring us to our only option, which is the software we're looking for. If you click on it, you can get a kind of overview of what this software entails. Uh, some other things about it that we are not really interested in. Here's what you want to do. Hit download now. This is a very reputable website. I've downloaded lots of things here. This is why I'm sending you here because it's somewhere you can download stuff and uh, not worry about downloading bad software. Uh, the one thing I will caution you as you go through and download anything, even on this website, is as you are downloading things, little windows might come up to check or uncheck things like little toolbars and other us kind of piggybacking software so I would suggest that you keep an eye on what you're agreeing to and just make sure that you're not uh, installing stuff that's just annoying it's not really going to do any harm to your computer but just kind of annoying stuff that pops up every once in a while so anyways you're going to click on this you're going to install the software as you would anything and when you have that software installed you'll have um, a button to open it when you open it you're just going to get this teeny tiny window on your screen of whatever is on your screen. In this case, it's just a white background. I am on Microsoft Paint, just to make it clear. The first thing you're going to do is click on, and there's not much to click on here, but you're going to click on this button here, which is a new recording task, which is to begin recording something. But first, you have to define uh, what you're going to be recording. Uh, in this case, you're not really going to touch anything. This is the window as it comes up uh, by default. Just to make sure that if you have a microphone plugged in, which by the way you can go to Walmart, Amazon, pretty much anywhere, and get a pretty cheap microphone just for you know six or eight dollars, serviceable microphone in case you don't have one. Um, it depends on if you're going to record your whole desktop, uh, in other words, your whole monitor or not. If you click on this arrow, there's a an option for desktop region, which is what I'm using for this screen, as you cannot see my uh, desktop background. You're just looking at a small portion of my um, monitor. Uh, there's a save path. You can click on this little button here and choose to save the file wherever you wish to save it. You do not have to adjust any video settings or audio settings as long as everything works after you've done a little test run. Uh, duration, I haven't noticed any video quality difference if you change the duration. If you change it to something like five minutes, it will stop recording after five minutes. Uh, whether you are done talking or recording or not, so you might want to extend that to pass what you expect to use. Uh, there are other thing options here that you can click. These are all by default. I just leave them as they are. So again, the only things you're really going to click on, uh, full desktop, whether or not you want a just specific desktop region, you'll see the usefulness of that in a second. And where you want to save the file, don't just save wherever it gives you. It might be your documents, it might be your desktop, it might be you know, wherever that is. So. Uh, make sure that your uh, video is going to record past the time that you need to record for. Uh, then you're going to, if you are, sorry, if you are clicking desktop region, it's going to give you this little cursor that shows up on your screen. I have a red cursor. This is not the program right now. It's going to give you this little hand with a little plus cursor. And all you have to do is drag that onto the region. Click and drag onto the region that you would record. It's going to be a little bit bigger than this, but I've just given you an example. It's going to give you a box to show you how big it is, and as long as you make it somewhat rectang rectangular, rectangular, I'm just kidding, rectangular, then you'll have something that will fit pretty nicely in a video and not have any black space on the outside. 
Uh, so that's just give you an idea. It shows you how big it is and uh, shows you where that space is. And as you're recording, you have little corners that will flash that you cannot see because I am recording, but little corner uh, indicators as to where that area is that you are recording, what's being recorded. I'm going to scroll down to a screenshot I've taken of my desktop, which you can see here I have, and it's kind of shrunken a little bit so it fits on the screen nicely. Uh, but in any case, this is my uh, web browser. Uh, this is the Word document you will be viewing tomorrow, or you have viewed, sorry. And um, then also a PowerPoint. So in this case, if I was doing notes on a, uh, for a video for uh, my notes, I typically choose the desktop region, and then I would make my desktop region dragging across the window that is only my, my PowerPoint. And in this case, um, that way I can uh, be on the internet. I can quickly search something if I need to. I can have a whole Word document printed off uh, of notes, or if you wanted to, an entire script that I would not suggest, but you could certainly do that. Have that all open and still have just your recording window be what you are interested in showing to your students. And then you would click through the slides on the left side, I would suggest, so that things are not kind of moving around. Uh, the only thing here is if you're doing desktop region, you do not have the option to uh, use any animations. Uh, in other words, you're going to be, uh, the kids are going to be viewing the PowerPoint file uh, in this mode and not presentation mode as you would have uh, all the animations set up. So if you are an animations person, then you would just click on full desktop and then uh, capture it from there and have your notes on your actual desk or next to you somewhere. So just to give you an idea of how I use the desktop region option, you have just this window or just this screen being shown to the kids and other things open in case you need them. So once you are once you click OK here, you've chosen your desktop region or you've chosen full desktop, you click OK. The next thing you're going to see is this little teeny tiny window, which means you are ready to record. You can move this window off to the side if you need to. It's not going to show up on your recording, but it might make it easier, uh, more convenient. As soon as you click OK here, it's going to start recording. You're going to get the little corner flashing uh, indicators that you have a desktop region. If you chose that, that is recording in that region and your time is running. Now when you're ready to end recording or you messed up and you want to start all over or whatever that is, case may be, you're going to hit control P and the first couple of times you go to record this you're probably going to forget if you don't write it down and then have to uh, kind of fiddle around with the keyboard until you figure it out and by that time you might have already wasted too much time. So my suggestion, uh, not just to practice hitting control P, but also to practice and make sure that your video looks the way you want it to look and sounds the way you want it to sound in case you are using the audio option. So record for five, ten seconds, say test, test, check, check, as you would if you were a, uh, you know, performing in a concert. And then you're going to hit control P. That's going to bring up this next window down here and all you're doing from here is, if you are at least satisfied with your video, you're going or not, you're going to hit the stop button right here. It's going to bring you to a window of the folder in which you chose to save it. Going back here to our save path and our new recording task window, it's going to take you to this folder once you hit stop. And then from there, you can do whatever you want with that video. Save it somewhere else, convert it if you need to convert it. And there are some other options here that I don't use. There are, there's a converter built within this program. Uh, you can pause the video and then keep recording. So in other words, if you've gotten to a point in your notes where you need to maybe open up a new PowerPoint because you're going on for uh, 800 slides and you just have more and more and more and you can't stop. So then in that case, you would hit Control-P to pause. And then you would hit this button to keep recording and make it the same video however you've cut out the in-between stuff of opening, closing, and switching screens or whatever the heck else you're doing. So again, once you're done, hit stop. Uh, your video is going to, it's going to show you the time. There's going to be a little, uh, when, there's going to be a little bar that comes up as if it was loading. It's going to kind of finalize that video, put it into your folder, and you can do with it uh, whatever you want from there. Now, I'm hitting, hitting control P.